play a little bit of coon hunt walk around on what's a pretty interesting banjo actually check out what's inside so you'll notice this is unusual I've only ever seen one other banjo that was like this and when I seen it I didn't know what I, what it was it was also like this as you can see this is just a regular old a uh, plain cheap buckby banjo regular old cheap buck bee hardware there's nothing fancy um, about the instrument other than um, this sort of weird uh, tone ring setup let's try to figure out what's going on in here um, you can see please don't bite me you can see there's a there's a brass a piece of heavy gauge brass wire that's been laid in here and it's cramped in here by these little pieces of bent sheet metal that attach to the back of the tension shoes and so that attaches to the back of this and it holds this ring in place and the effect you get is pretty neat you get sort of a cheap uh, working man's uh, arch top banjo, pretty neat. You can tell this banjo is pretty, is pretty loud. Pretty loud banjo. It's a lot louder than a standard buck beat otherwise would be. Let me give you a little information on the patent. Um, I follow an Instagram account, and a really good Instagram account is called Banjo Patents. So that's just Banjo Patents, one word. And that's the Instagram account to follow where I got, I, I was able to pull this up right here. I guess I can just show y'all. But he shows you the patent information. Everybody should go follow him. Um, but real quick, I'll tell you, this was patented in April 7th, 1903 by a William B. Farmer. And you can see here it says, uh, the object of the invention is to provide a new and improved banjo arranged to produce an exceedingly fine melodious tone when the instrument is played. But it does sound really neat. It's kind of a neat old sound. Anyhow, there's not a whole lot to show you on this. I just, like I said, if anybody else has seen one of these before, if you've got some thoughts on this, if you've seen a different version of this, maybe I'd like to see a fancier one. Uh, leave us a comment. Let me know about it. Like I said, I seen uh, one other like this years ago. Look how cheaply, how cheaply made this is. It's got, I mean, just the the thinnest sheet metal cladding wrapped around it. But this is just just a standard buckbeat. I want to show off this nut. I had to make that nut myself. This had a wooden, a shitty old wooden nut in it that was just all broke out and broke to pieces. So I had to, I'm pretty proud of that nut. I did a good job making that, I think. And I put these tuners on it. Anyhow. Okay, everybody, that's all I wanted to show you. up your face, boy, calm up your head. Now get ready for your coffee and bread. Hard times in Wise County Jail, boys. Hard times, I know. Thank you for looking. <laughs>